Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 3B in the How to Build series where I'm going to be covering console screens, and we're going to be going over the reset function and keyboard as well. So, let's start by getting a wire keyboard, which is in the input output section, and then we're going to go grab the Expression 2 chip and put it up here. And I want to take notice with the debugger really quick for both the keyboard and the console screen. Console screen has care X, care Y, care, care RAM, click and reset on the inset on the uh, sorry inputs and memory for the outputs and also the wire link which we're going to set up in a bit and keyboard has an output of memory which is the only thing we care about at the moment so we can go to our expression 2 chip and we're going to need inputs and outputs for this one and this stuff right here so let's set up our wire link so we're going to have wire link or WL which is to type wire link and then we're going to have memory and now we're going to have reset, click, care param, care x, care y, character, and our click, which is going to be something we use for the reset. So, let's start with some initial conditions with the if first or dupe statement. And here we're going to set click equal to 1, care param equal to. 999, so care param is going to be the color of the character we're trying to write to the screen. And that's going to be red, green, blue, respectively, if you remember the right string from last video. And then we're going to have care x, which is going to be the x position, which is from 0 to 29 on the screen. And we're going to have care y, which is the y position of the character we're writing to the screen from 0 to 17. And our click. And we're going to put 1 there, and I'm going to show you why. So, for the reset, we're going to say if our click, which is going to be triggered right here when the expression 2 chip is first initialized, um, it'll set reset equal to 1, which is going to make the screen go blank, and then we'll say our click is equal to 0, and that way we can use our click again if we have to. And then we're going to set a timer, which I go over in expression tutorial 2, number 13, uh, over entity uh, or NPC control. So, we're going to have a clock named reset, or a timer named reset, which is a one time timer, and it's going to wait 100 milliseconds. And then it's going to run a cycle, and this uh, if command right here is going to then execute because it's running because uh, of timer reset, or it's getting executed because of timer reset and reset is going to be equal to zero. So we can use this again. All right, so make sure everything's good. All right, awesome. So we're going to wire this up real quick. Set up the wire link, and then I'll say memory, which is going to be this memory. And you can actually directly link the keyboard to the screen. It's just um, for showing you what's going on. I'm going to do it through expression 2 chip. So let's wire all the rest of these up. And you notice it says ASCII or, uh, ASCII or Unicode, which is what the output of this keyboard is. It's ASCII or Unicode. So, and so click to click, reset to reset, and we're all wired up. Alright, so let's get some stuff on the screen. We're going to say character is equal to memory, so we connect the uh, console screen to the keyboard. And then we're going to say if there's a change in memory, then care x plus plus, so the position of the character will incre increase to the right which each character that we type, or each change in memory at this moment. And we're going to say care param. Um, you can actually change the color at this point if you want uh, to every time you type something. So we'll just say 999 right now, and we'll have fun with that a little bit later. So care x, whenever care x gets greater than 29, which is the uh, maximum x value it can have, then we're going to go to the next line. So we're going to say care x equals 0, which is going to set the cursor back to the 0 position on the left side of the screen. And then we're going to say care y plus plus, saying that care y equals care y plus 1. So it's going to get to the next line. Now, if care y is greater, well, care y is greater than 17, which is the maximum y value, then care x equals 0 and care y equals zero. And that's going to set us back to the top left of the screen when we get to the bottom right and run out of space. 
Now, there's going to be a little issue with this part of it. I'm going to show you why. So let's start by typing. So we're getting here, and now we're typing a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to show you how the reset works. So left clicking is going to reset or run another execution for the first execution expression 2 chip. It triggers a reset. You can notice in my debugger, uh, reset is set back to zero on the inputs in the console screen section, which is the sixth value on the debugger. Um, that means that the reset's working perfectly. And let's get rid of this issue though. There's a bunch of characters and it skips. Uh, like it skips the space between each character if I type a little bit more slow. Alright, we'll do that by adding another condition. Well first, uh, notice the debugger, the wired keyboard output memory first. I hold down E and then notice there's two E's, but then I'll let go of E and it goes back to zero. That's because um, that space is now created as a result of memory changing back to zero. So we have to put something in this if statement to eliminate that. So we'll say that and memory, when it's not equal to zero, then do all this. So let's get back into here. And now it says, let's see, let's pull the wire mod. And now you see I got rid of the space issue. And just to show you that all this works, uh, actually let's get a little fancy before I show you how all this works. We'll say that the color with each character type is going to be a random integer from 1, which is just going to be a red value of 1, to 999, which is going to be white. So this is going to make it a lot more fun. So let's get in here, and let's make the party happen. So yeah, you can pretty much use this and uh, create works of art, you can do whatever you want. Um, right, right here I'm making a fancy little design, and just doing this to show you that I can actually get to the bottom of the screen without um, there being any issue, and I'm going to overwrite that E, which is the first character when I get to the bottom. So here we are, and you see me overwriting the top. So the code works, and now we have a lovely piece of art here, which we can probably sell for lots of Gmod money on a dark RP server or something. But anyway, that's going to conclude this part of the console screen section. I'm going to be going over a touch screen in the next video. And until then, I'll see you next time.